Okay, so here's another example in conditional probability. So suppose that 80% of students taking calculus have previously had a trig course. Of those that did, 75% passed their calculus course. And of those that did not, 30% passed calculus. What is the overall failure rate for calculus? Oops, spelled calculus wrong. Anyways, okay, so uh, I have a tree diagram set up, and this is conditional probability because you see some keywords like of those that did not, uh, or or the other word which would be given, but we don't see that one. Um, so let's write out the stuff we know, and then we'll write out what we're trying to find. So 80% of students taking Calc have had a trig course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the probability that you took a trig course is 0.8 for 80 percent. So that means the probability that you did not take a trig course and you're in the calculus class uh, would be 0.2. And then you have the of those that did not take, uh, of those that did take trig. Okay, so that's your conditional probability that they passed calc. So I'm going to represent passing calc with a C. So probability of passing calc given that you've passed trig or that you took trig, sorry, uh, would be 0.75 for 75 percent and then the probability that let's see of those that did not take trig 30 percent pass calc so probability of calc given that you did not pass trig would be 0.3 so these are the <clears throat> pieces of information we know now the the question what is the overall failure rate for calc so if you're going to be included in the failure p um, group of people well, you could have either, so let me write this, failure. You can fail and have taken trig, or you could have failed and not taken trig. All right, so this is, you have to just be in one of these groups and that you'll count in the failure rate. So what we want, so we want, what is the probability of, well, failure and trig or failure and not trig? All right, so this is what we want. Uh, let's fill out the tree diagram now. So we have, this would be my trig and then not trig. And this was 0.8 and down here 0.2. Then we have... Uh, we'll call this the passing calc and not passing calc. We know that passing calc given you took trig was 0.75. So that means not passing calc. Um, what was it? 0.25. Passing calc given you didn't take trig, that was 0.3. So not passing 0.7. So I've actually, if you go back to uh, the failure, I used F for failure. Uh, what we should be using is C complement, because C complement represents not passing. So C complement, so down here as well, C complement. Okay, so we're looking for two intersections or two ands. Now remember that when you do C complement and uh, T, that means you're going up the T branch and then going up the C complement branch, and then you multiply through. Okay, so I'm going to erase this stuff right here, because now we have all that information into the tree diagram. All right, well, just for the heck of it, let's multiply through all the branches. So this would be the probability of taking trig and passing calc. So that's 0.8. 0.8 times 0.75, so that's 0.6. This would be taking trig and not passing calc, which is in one of the, this is one of the categories we're looking for. That's 0.8 times 0.25, so that's 0.2. Then this would be the probability of not taking trig but passing calc, so that's 0.06. And, so I will have to erase this down here.
All right, so this is the probability of not taking trig and not passing, which is also part of the failure rate. So uh, we're going to include that as well. So that's 0.14. Now, just to make sure, if I were to add all these four numbers up, I should get one because this is everybody. And we get one. Okay, so that works out. So what are we looking for? We want not calc and trig. So not passing calc and trig. That would be right here. And this is not passing calc, not coming from trig. And so what we're going to do is just add these two together. So 0 0.2 plus 0.14. That is 0.34. And then you can write this as a percentage because it wants the failure rate uh, and the choices in this this question. Because uh, this is a multiple choice question, uh, one of their choices is 34%. So there you go. So hopefully this is, I, I did a little bit longer, um, just so that you can see how to fill out a tree diagram and how to multiply through the branches. Because again, all we were looking for was this. But you know, but, you know it doesn't hurt to find these as well and then understand what they mean.